call to order the second special meeting of the 2014-2015 Common Council. Would the clerk please call the roll for the meeting? There are 13 present. Um, Alderman Bourne is excused. Alderman Lassard is excused. Alderman Matichek is not. Please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Next, I'd like to uh, just deviate from the agenda if there's no objection. Uh, Jim Pragets, uh, who is chairman of the Police and Fire Commission, passed away last week. And uh, his funeral actually is going on today as we have this meeting. And I'd like to ask uh, Chief, Chief uh, Chris Domagalski and Fire Chief Mike Romas to join me in the front. I'd just uh, like to have a moment of silence for Jim and the service that he provided to the city of Sheboygan. He's been a member of the Police and Fire Commission since 1997 and most recently had served as the chairman of the Police and Fire Commission. Please stand and join me in a moment of silence. Thank you. Next, we'll go on to approval of the minutes from our last meeting. Alderman Hammond. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to approve. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on those minutes? Seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. The next item is council appointments on the Harbor Center bid board. City Attorney. Thank you, Your Honor. Honorable members of the council, I hereby submit the following appointments for your confirmation to the Business Improvement District. Pamela Butler <coughs> Channel, business owner. Eileen Sim Simons, property owner. William Holbrook, property owner. Tyler Ott, business owner. Chad Palachek, city government. All uh, terms that would be appointed from uh, today's date through 1231 2016, signed by the mayor. Those will lie over. <coughs> Under resolutions, uh, 2.1 is a resolution by Alderman Lassard amending the job description for the part-time clerk position in the building inspection department. Alderman Lassard. I, I would like to make a motion to file. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none. Uh, let's see, we got a Lassard, Alderman Lassard, do you have something else you'd like to bring up? No. Okay. Uh, do we need to call the roll? Okay, all those in favor of the motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Under reports of committee, item 3.1 is an RC by finance to whom was referred RC number 208 of 1415 by salary and grievances and general ordinance number 36 of 1415 by Alderman Lassard amending the municipal code as to add a part-time code enforcement officer position in the city development department for the city of Sheboygan. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move the RC be accepted and adopted in the resolution be, or ordinance be put upon its passage. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Any discussion on the motion? Alderman Carlson. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. <clears throat> Hope this is the last time I have to say these comments. Uh, I'll try to keep it brief. I am still not going to support this. Um, I guess it, it came back because we found some money. I think that's a poor reason to try to create a new position. Um, just because we have money, we shouldn't spend it. I don't think this is actually going to do, um, do the city any good. It's uh, the residents of the city. Um, are already trying as best as they can. I don't think we need to hand out some more citations. I, I think what we need to do is focus more on the, the troubled property, properties that we already know that exist. We don't need to go after all the, um, the small stuff right now. The police department's doing a great job of trying to literally clean up the yards because uh, come to find out that this position isn't actually going, going to be going after the properties that have junk in their yard. This is actually for um, legitimate building code violations. So I, I, I don't think this is gonna do any good. Thank you. Thank you for those comments. Alderman Bitters. 
Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, as I look through the documents that were attached to this, uh, the problem I have with it is uh, the qualifications that were in, uh, written down for this new position. It's uh, high school or GED and one year in a building trade. And is that sufficient to allow someone to write citations to people in the city and I don't see it that way and that's what I have thank you thank you Alderman Hammond thank you mr. mayor um, Chad do you wanna if you wouldn't mind coming forward for a quick sec would you be so willing as to you know Talk a little bit about real briefly the position, what the qualifications are, so on and so forth. So hopefully we can put Alderman Bitter's mind at ease. Sure. Um, this position is a part-time position. This person would be uh, primarily working in the neighborhoods as I just discussed at the Finance Committee. Um, just to talk a little bit about staffing in the Building Inspection Department first. We have two building inspectors, Jack Vanderweel, Pat Eirich, who primarily uh, focus on commercial uh, inspections all new construction we have a housing inspector who part of this time is housing but he's also the fill-in for an electrical inspector and a plumbing inspector because we do not have backups for those so when those two positions are on vacation the housing inspector makes up the difference in that area that leaves nobody out there really doing any type of code enforcement or housing related landlord issues and those types of things um, so the the thought behind this position um, as being a temporary uh, position would be that this person would be following up on complaints that come into the office, would be going out into the center city areas and doing targeted code enforcement um, sweeps with the police department um, and then other things as, as needed. From an educational standpoint, um, that's, the, that's the education that's really required for the current building inspectors, although they have more um, experience I think if we put any more if we put any more experience requirements on this I think we're gonna have a hard time filling the position frankly um, I understand the fact of writing citations all they have to do is I mean when you go out and do code enforcement it's a lot of the stuff is the same so you know it could be painting it could be roof it could be foundations I mean they're not doing structural stuff this is really just looking at cosmetic aesthetic type repairs um, and everything can be documented with cameras and different things and brought forward at court. So I, from an education standpoint, I think if we make this any more than um, that, as long as they've got some uh, experience in the build, building trades and, and have been exposed to what's happening out there, I feel comfortable with it. And this position that the job description that's attached was a seasonal code enforcer that was in this department back in 2007, and that was the job description that that person ran under. Thank One you, Alderman Hammond. Thank you. And just real quick, you know, this obviously position is monitored by someone, you know, so as citations are written, other than the court process, of course, someone else is looking at these or at least spot checking things. To make oh yeah, sure they that. don't. They don't necessarily write the citation. The inspector works with the front office and they between both of them do all the citations so there's a there's a checks and balances and this person would report directly to me uh, just like the rest of the people in the department but with the experience that we have in the department I don't foresee any issues on an experience standpoint okay, thanks is there any other discussion I'll go ahead city attorney uh, thank you your honor I believe the discussion at the Finance Committee was to recommend uh, adoption of the ordinance subject to some amendments that were that were drafted at the Finance Committee, and I think those would need to uh, be oh, made to, to be this document as well, since the document that's at the Council is the original document. Okay. And that includes the salary piece? Yeah. Okay. Don? Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I would uh, move to amend the document to make it a temporary position um, to last no longer than two years, um, subject um, to a pay a max pay of twenty five thousand um, dollars including all um, employee cost payroll cost um, those types of things so that's my motion second thank you for that motion and support 
Uh, we have amendment that's been made. Is there any discussion on the amendment? Alderman Donahue. Um, uh, thank you, Mayor. Uh, and the only other thing I think we did add uh, finance, if my memory serves, is to ensure that this is an at-will employee so that even if there is a two-year contract as a temporary employee, that the basis of the employment is at will. And I believe that was worked into our amendment, if I'm not mistaken. That was the temporary employee. The temporary employee, correct, for up to two years. Yeah, I think I said that. Did I say City that? Attorney, did that cover all the points? I believe so. Uh, okay. There was also a discussion, but that would be, I believe, a, uh, you could all include in here that, uh, because I believe it was the recommendation of the Finance Committee, that the uh, document be drawn uh, to transfer funds from a particular account uh, in payment of this that could be then brought in at the next council meeting and acted on. But. That's part of this. I can make that the same thing. Yeah. Um, I would add to that then again, uh, Mr. Mayor, that uh, the 25000 would come from the mayoral, or 50000 would come from the mayoral budget be transferred to building inspection to pay for this position for that two-year period. Is there a second? Do you accept that as part yes. of the, so we'll have one single amendment, including that as well as the other items that were brought up earlier. Any other discussion on the amendment before us? Alderman Carlson. Just to be clear, that this $50,000 is coming from the 100000 that was budgeted for to uh, find a new uh, chief administrative officer. So once again, this is money that we don't have to spend. And personally, I think it could be better used elsewhere, one, by either taking it out of the budget or by using it on something else and not just payroll. Thank you. Thank you for those comments. Any other discussion? Just just to clarify, on the budget transfer portion of this, this 50000 uh, I would say that what you'd be doing would be asking that documents be drawn to do that, and that would be come in at the next council meeting for the budget transfer, because uh, different requirements for budget transfers than adoption of the general ordinance. But this way, uh, the council would know where the funding is anticipated to be coming from. Thank you for that clarification. If there's uh, no other uh, discussion, would the clerk please call the roll for passage on the amendment? Mark, is yours going? It's no. Okay, I figured that. What is your vote, Mark? Is your vote aye or nay? Aye. Aye, aye. okay. Ten eyes, four no's. Motion passes. Now we're back to the uh, main motion as amended. Is there any further discussion on the main motion as amended? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll on passage? Hang on just a second. <clears throat> Yes or, or no. nay. Yes or no. Yes. Yep. Okay. Oh, yeah. Still no for me too. <laughs> I guess that. <clears throat> it's broken. It's broken. Eight eyes, six no's. Motion passes. Moving on to ordinances, 4.1 <coughs> will be referred to the City Planning Commission under matters laid over. 
5.1 is general ordinance number 34 of 1415 by Alderman Donahue, Dassler, Hammond, and Vanderweel amending the municipal code to extend the expiration date of the initial chief administrative officer's appointment term to August 23rd of 2016. Alderman Donahue. Uh, thank you, Mayor. I would uh, move that the ordinance be put upon its passage. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Under discussion, Alderman Koss. Thank you, Mayor. I'm going to be a, a no vote on this document. I would like to have seen uh, more discussion on the job description. Um, I understand it did go to salaries and grievance, and I did attend that meeting. <clears throat> Apparently it was put on hold, and then now there's going to be discussion at the committee at the whole level. Um, I would also like to see uh, discussion at the committee at the whole. And that was the whole idea, in my opinion, uh, that I became part of a, a three-man hold. It uh, would have been nice to have that discussion on the sister amendment, the Thursday committee of the whole. Uh, but now here we are at a council meeting again and having the committee of the whole meeting after this. So um, I would just like to have seen a little bit more discussion on a committee level. Okay, thank you. Thank you for those comments. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, you know, I understand uh, the game that was being played over the last week or so um, with this particular position. I think I mentioned in the last meeting, you know, I look at these as two kind of mutually exclusive um, events. Looking at the job description, um, we can do that anytime. This could have been done in the spring, could have been done in the summer, it could have been done six months ago, a month ago, two months ago, three months ago, it wasn't. Kind of a coincidence is coming up now as Mr. Amodio's um, decided to stay on um, and some people with their personal opinions may have, uh, that may have entered this equation. That said, I mean, I, I think we do need to look at this position on an ongoing basis um, and I think I uh, might be speaking out of school for Mr. Amonio, but I think he'd probably welcome the opportunity to look at this position and say how can we make it better and more effective um, on a go forward basis. But again, I think these, thing, these two documents are are mutually exclusive um, and extending the term of somebody who's done a phenomenal job um, for the city I don't think is tied into whether we review his job description or that position's job description um, and make changes to it. We can make those changes any time and um, uh, you know, implement those changes at any time. So um, I think uh, these two things are, are exclusive and should be treated as such. Thank you. Thank you for those comments. Is there any further discussion? Will the clerk please call the roll for passage? Twelve eyes, two noes. Motion passes. Next item is a proposed closed session. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to convene in closed session under section 19851E of the Wisconsin Statutes for the purpose of deliberating possible tentative agreement with the Sheboygan Professional Police Officers Association, where competitive and bargaining reasons require a closed session. Second. Thank you for that motion. Will the clerk please call the roll to go into closed session? We'll take a short recess and reconvene in about three or four minutes. Yeah. Okay, we'll call the meeting back to order. I move on to um, 7.1, which is uh, action on items that are discussed in closed session. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to uh, put the resolution authorizing entering into a tentative agreement with the Sheboygan Professional Police Officers Association upon its passage. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any further discussion on the motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll for passage? Sorry. 
Kahn. Fourteen eyes. Motion passes. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to adjourn this meeting. Second. Thank you very much. Uh, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? We stand adjourned. Keep Have your, a good Thanksgiving. Keep your Chromebooks open because the Committee of the Whole is going to use them.